eight numbers in some structured data. Unstructured data kind of images and videos. These are the different kinds of data we have in the company. See, when we arrange the data in a uh, file format, we data are stored in a computer that are uh, not only binary digits, and we know all that. Uh, then file is a collection of uh, such uh, bits uh, in a computer sense, okay, not in a, a real sense. So record is a collection of bits. File is a collection of related record. The same thing can be done in uh, a real paper file structure, okay, in a company. That is not possible. Uh, amount of data is huge, and we cannot analyze the data. Right? So these are the uh, file-based systems, like a random access file system, sequence selected file system, indexed sequence selected file system. So they uh, does not support data analysis. The data analysis is not supported by the normal file system. And a relationship cannot be established. What is the importance of this relationship? I told you before in the company we have several departments. Okay. Some department may be working in US, some will be working in another country. So in order to work the company in an efficient manner, they need to communicate in between with the correct data. That is important. They need to communicate with the correct data. If they are communicating with the wrong data, then the company will collapse. So we need to ensure that the relationship between this data, that is uh, with the uh, production, production to the material management. So the material management will be uh, responsible for buying all the material to make the product. So when the product, uh, when the production team is willing to work more, we don't have the supply of this material in that company, then there is no use. Okay? And when we have overstock in the material management side, then there is also no use because the company will lose because they don't have uh, the capacity to produce more products. The same thing happens with the finance department. The finance department is financing the company with uh, all the money required. So the communication between the finance and the uh, uh, material management is not good. What will happen? There is also a problem between uh, the material management and the finance sector as the company will do. Suppose we have a warehouse management system in that company, a uh, uh, warehouse management system. Okay. okay, the warehouse management system, WM, warehouse management system, uh, they stock all the produced finished goods. See, we don't have that much sales order as sales department. We don't have much more sales order in sales department. How? Uh, the finished goods will go out from the company if we, are, we have more products than the uh, needed sales, there the company will again lose. So we need to make sure that the communication between different departments in each company are occurring in a correct manner. So we need to establish a relationship between all these data. In a file-based system, it's not possible that we can establish a relationship. To do all these relationships between different departments, we use some software called ERP. ERP will uh, do the work of establishing the relationship between each department and uh, to communicate uh, between departments uh, in a correct manner, the ERP software uh, installed or implemented in a company, one uh, of the famous software is called SAP, and the Oracle 
they have their own workers uh, ERP system like Oracle Hub. You heard about Oracle Hub? Yeah. Oracle Hub. Oracle will install Oracle. These are all kind of uh, software that will make the effective communication, correct communication between uh, the different uh, uh, departments in it. What we are interested in here is the database because we are not going to study any ERP software here. We are only studying the effective movement of data. It's a storage of data, the movement of data, the storage of data, and the reporting of data. We are interested only in these two or three factors. So what we will be concentrating in uh, first, we try to understand a database, a simple database. Why we need to understand a database is uh, a data warehouse is a database. First, a data warehouse is a data base. By using the technology ETL, by using the technology ETL, we will be Pulling data from number of sources, and we will move this data into a data warehouse. This data warehouse is simply a database. That's why I said we will concentrate on uh, learning more about databases. We will try to see the user interfaces 